Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of May 30th through June 6th for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, because it's, it's always somebody's reading, but it's not always everyone's, you can check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could watch a um, different part of your chart or even look around on the Monday posts because those are a different style of reading from week to week. So it's always something different on Mondays. And thanks to everybody for subscribing, hitting that like button, and everything you do to support the channel. I appreciate it all. I really do. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. All right, let's get the guidance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? What messages do you have for Pisces, please? Okay. We will begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers oracle cards, too. All right, you have here the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. I'm going to move this back just a touch. All right, we've got the Moon. I, I knew that was going to come out. The Five of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands. Well, I really like this. You know, I like to see your own energy showing up here. You have Pisces, you have Gemini, you have Water in general, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. And um, you do have a little bit of air here in Earth, too. Well, I feel like you're investing in a relationship, and there's definitely a synergy about it. There's, an, there's a passionate connection here for you, and I feel like there's a new phase. So even if you're in a relationship, it's like a new phase in a relationship begins. And this gets serious. I, if you're broken up with somebody, I see you wanting or them wanting to leave the conflict behind, wanting to start anew. You know, you've got, I mean, when we look at this, I can hold up a lot of cards, but when we, we, we just look at even these, this is really powerful stuff. This is new, exciting love, commitment. It's really a special kind of energy when you have something like that in a reading. So we have here um, the Seven of Cups. This is choices, it's decisions. And I feel like they're with the moon. I feel like they're sort of this, um, really the strong desire to make the right choice. And when you're in alignment, you can't make a bad choice. I once had somebody make a comment about what about rapists and murderers? They're not in alignment. My God, they're so far out of alignment. That's not source energy. <laughs> but with this, it's all about meditating, quieting your mind, allowing your higher voice to guide you, your higher, your highest source to guide you, being through source. Um, There's some Justin Bieber song out right now, and he even has a line about being from source. He also talks about getting his weed in California, but <laughs> that's another thing. But anyway, um, you know, it truly, that truly is it though. You know, when you are in that place of knowing you are a human being, you're, the beingness is the important part of this and what you bring into this, you know, being from that place of consciousness, knowing that you're part of the divine, you don't make a bad choice. So part of it's just kind of being easy about it, relaxing, letting go of any fear or worry with this. So the eight of pentacles is commitment. It is investment. It's focus too. And so Anything new that you're beginning, because even with the um, the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands and if, and the Moon too, any any new endeavors, any new hobbies, any new life changes that you're trying to begin, you'll stick to them. And I right when I was saying that, I saw somebody with a Vitamix. So if you're doing something where you're saying, you know what, I'm I'm doing a lot of juicing, I'm eating raw, I'm doing a lot of because especially with the Moon. That has a lot to do, too, with anything from um, the earth, any whole foods, anything organic, you know. I feel like there's a real commitment to your health, your wellness, everything about your life. It's not just the relationship here. So with this, too, you know, it, it, it indicates prosperity. And prosperity doesn't necessarily have to be money. money. It's really about being in that place where you're finding joy, you're finding fulfillment, so there are lots of people I've met who said, I had more money before, 
but I feel more prosperous now. Like my life feels richer and fuller and deeper now than it ever has been. And so part of that is really allowing that your life to take on this fullness. So you've got the Queen of Wands here, and this is passionate energy. The Queen of Wands is a real go-getter too, though. So anything with career, we did talk a little bit about the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, obviously it can be related to really working hard, doing things at work. And some of you may be finding that you're going to be upwardly mobile here in terms of work. Um, and part of that, in the United States at least, and somebody made a comment about this. I don't do political stuff here, so that's not what this is about. But there's, at least where I live, there is a shortage of workers and people are getting promoted left and right into positions they're probably not qualified for, honestly. They wouldn't have been a year ago. They are now. Um, so with this, it's really a development of a career. It's a journey. It's a trip. I mean, it's anything about expansion. And so you're inspiring to others too, by the way. Whatever you're doing with um, your physical body, I feel like it's going to be inspirational to people around you. This is a very beautiful queen. So even if you're male, it's okay. It, it's just about looking good, feeling good, and um, really being in the fullness of who you are. So the Ace of Cups comes in, and this is uh, an eternal love it, in terms of a relationship, but I also feel like it begins with you. It's that love of self that's knowing who you are and what you're doing here and attracting from that level. It's an exciting pull towards something new. It's uh, in terms of work. Again, I feel like you're going to be taking off at work and they may involve travel for some of you. It may be some kind of a traveling position um, and that Queen of Wands is here to tell you that. But I feel like too, you have loyal people around you. You have good people around you wanting you to wanting you to rise to the occasion, wanting you to rise above. And so there's integrity, there's trust, and there's a deep sense of love here. So in a relationship, it's the real deal. There's no nothing hidden here. And the seven cup of cups comes in and that can indicate sort of more like human fear than really anything that you have to be leery of. Okay. So with the moon, here you are. And it's a, it's a time of deep emotion for you. This is going to be a phase in your life that I think you're going to really remember as being pivotal for you, a turning point. It's also a card that reminds us of being one with source energy, this pool of consciousness. Everything is born from the soul level. And it's also a card that reflects that the moon is always mirrored. The, the sun always mirrors the moon, okay, and vice versa. So all these little droplets, those are the yads of the tarot. It's the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew. You may find that you have a turn of events here that's very fortunate. There's things in your favor. The right people show up at just the right time. You've got this really nice sense of timing and delivery about things that you're going to do with your career. And you may even throw your name in the hat if there's an opening. I just keep getting this. Something upwardly mobile. And, it, and again, there might be travel here too, but... I feel like you're going to have a place where you just know exactly what to say at the right time. And there you go. There it is. This is a card, too, though, of wisdom and balance in your life. So if it's felt kind of out of balance, things are coming into alignment and in, in, into balance here for you. So I mentioned early on with this five of swords, fives are also, they're change in the tarot, but they're also about adventure. So you may be leaving behind anything that has conflict. And it might even be an internal conflict for some of you. I get that. It's an internal conflict where you're wanting to move forward in some things and it may involve leaving a, a position behind or something with work. In terms of a relationship though, somebody who wants to come back is not looking to fight again. So be aware of that because if you find when you connect with them again, because I do see that happening, that your immediate response is to go through old things. You're not ready for this. You're, you're not, there's something about it. Still, there's some unfinished emotional business. So I do feel like it's um, telling you to let go of anything from the past if you have any interest in this person at all returning. It really needs to be a new start with the Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. There will be an apology coming forward, though. I'll tell you that. This person does want to come back, and they do want to apologize. I think I feel like they want to start on flat ground with you. They want to almost start like as if it's a brand new relationship. And with the lovers, there is a meaningful relationship here. And the aspects of this are interesting because it's a meaningful relationship. It can be both in love and in career. It represents a choice. And you have that a few different times here. 
a decision to be focused, to be very intentional about your life, a decision to overcome any obstacles. You won't stay down in the in the brush in this kind of energy. You will not sit in a puddle. You'll keep moving forward. It's also a card that indicates the conscious mind, which is Adam, affects the subconscious, which is Eve, and is connected to the divine, the archangel Raphael, okay? So it's a, a really layered card in terms of understanding the universe, but know that you are the universe. You are creating all the time. You get what you think about. You get what you are. So if there's something that you feel like has been eluding you in the 3D time-space reality, become it. Become that vibration. And it's not, I hope this is going to happen. It is here. It's happening now. So there's no there's no reason to feel like, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful. It's It's not about that. It's really about feeling like you have it right now. And that's how it shows up, that knowing. Because knowing is not thinking it's happening in the future. The knowing is that it's part of who you are right now. Also, too, the lovers has the sun in it. And there's very few cards that show the sun. But whenever you see the sun in a card, it means there's fortunate energy around you. So, again, this new passion shows up again. You've got a connection, an energetic tie with somebody here. And it blooms and moves forward in an exciting way. I mentioned there is an apology here. This is that proverbial olive branch. And again, the yods are here. They're on the ace of cups. And of course, they're on the moon. So you have three different cards featuring like feels like gifts, okay, that are coming your way. So let's see about the uh, um, angels here. Okay. Very beautiful reading for you, though. I, I really do like this. I like the stability, but also the momentum and the action of the wands because things are happening. They're ha coming together in a way that won't be questionable. You know, it won't be that little, you get a little bit, you don't see any movement, then you get a little more. It's not like that. It's pretty consistently moving. So you've got a golden opportunity here. So any, like I said, anything career related, there's a door opening for you. I could feel it in the tarot and they're telling you again, the situation will improve. I feel like that's related to that five of swords. You're ready for an adventure. You're ready to leave behind conflict and it's happening now. You've got big, happy changes. Isn't that great? This is really glorious. I like it when this happens, when the, the angels really correspond and work together with the tarot within the, the next few months. I feel like you're going to have a nice summer ahead of you because you got a yes here too, okay? Great things are happening for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.